Hello everyone, hope you're well. Well this is a bit of a surprise video because I didn't really know I was going on this trip. This week I was supposed to be delivering a yacht from the south coast up into Scotland just on the Clyde but that got cancelled at the last minute and it had been planned for some time. So Joe had arranged for some people to stay at the cottage so I basically had a free week. Then I had to negotiate with Joe if I could take both whippings and that didn't work so I could only take Louis. So me and Louis last minute decided we was going to head to the north of Scotland and that was the only plan we had. We just headed off on Friday non-stop and drove from where we live in the North York Moors up to just below Ullapool. It was just about eight hour drive to get to the north coast of Scotland. And this video is clips of the things we got up to on our unplanned Scotland trip. So we didn't plan any pack ups, we didn't use pack for night, we didn't use any maps, we just drove around till we found somewhere and we managed to find all the pack ups we wanted and we just went from day to day. But we did run out of time so again I had to do a mad trip back down because I needed to be work on the Monday. So it was a fast trip all the way back down, eight and a half hours drive back to get home again. Louis love the beaches, Scotland is amazing and I hope you enjoy the video. Early morning check to see what the midges are like on the CCTV. It's not looking good. Morning Louis. We had a lovely night in the camper van in this location next to a dam just outside of Ullapool. Very peaceful night and a lovely morning. And I'm pleased to say by the time I got up the midges have gone. It was a an eight and a half hour drive yesterday. We stopped a few times but uh, I was determined to get as north as I possibly could. And as I say, we're just outside of Ullapool, just off the A9, next to this dam, which is a lovely quiet night, considering it's near to the road. Porridge and coffee. Well, it is Scotland. And somebody here has already had a sausage, haven't you, Louis? This is the first trip, main trip, we've had in the van. So me and Joe went to the Lake District for a couple of nights, but this is the first trip we've had in the van since it's been fully refitted and since we've had the uh, Victron and the um, Oak Tree lithium batteries fitted in. But those batteries and that electronic setup for wild camping is just amazing. It's, it's literally like being plugged in all the time. I kept looking at the app and it was just 100%, 100%, 100%. I think the most I got the batteries down to, and that was leaving everything on, including the heat to the TV, everything on, was 97%. I looked again about two hours later, it was back up to 100%. They are a total game changer. I've always said that Scotland for me doesn't really start until you get above Ullapool and you get to those really remote areas and you get less people up there but the beaches, the coastlands and the mountains are just incredibly beautiful. September and I think we only had rain for a couple of days we had a couple of very windy days which you'll see in the video which uh, was very atmospheric but it, it, I can recommend that area of Scotland enough um, but you need more than a week you, uh, we bumped into uh, George and um, Emma on the trip 
I'll link all their descriptions below, but you'll see them in the video. And they're up there and they're travelling around. They live full time in their van, so they've got plenty of time. And they're just having a whale of a time up there. But I would recommend if you if you want to really see that area of Scotland and that sort of Ullapool north to the north coast, mid Scotland and down the middle, that sort of quarter is my favourite area. And I'd say you need at least two months just to visit all those areas and, and take them in. It's absolutely beautiful. With or without the midges. Hey Louis, another beach, another day. One tired whippet, one lovely view. Another beach, another excuse to get wet. Snorkeling and bodyboard. So, uh, here's my surf coach, yeah. the expert. What do you reckon, George? Yeah. Condition I'll suitable? I'll have you drowned in this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, -hoo! we should have put my longer suit on. It's a bit chilly. What a lovely beach.
Happy with it. Do you like that, Lou? Hey, you got your ball. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? How clean is that water? Beautiful beach. Hey, been working it, Louie, running up and down that beach. Hey, as it's news time, it's in town for a siesta. I met an old man. I said, Tell me your story. He took out an old man. Something for me. Then he kept walking on down the road, and I watched him disappear like smoke. And I thought I'd just seen a ghost. Louis, that's a special treat. I bought you these. There's five of them, and I didn't realise, but there was £4.95. So I hope you're going to enjoy them, mate. Mm? It's your holiday treat. Look at that! I think you're suitably impressed, are you not? <laughs> Is that good? Is that good, Louis? <laughs> A great feature in our van is in this cupboard up here. Is our CCTV. And there's four cameras on there. You can have them as individual pictures. You can have a split as four. So we're just on our way back from Scotland. It was a little tired after we runs on the beach. And we're in a car park just on the way down. Just got a bit tired on the way down, so we're sleeping it off here. But we can have a look outside. And they're, um, they've also got night vision on them as well. So if we are any sounds outside, we just click on the camera. And we can change the screens if we need to. See what's going on outside. Really good piece of kit there. So if you wear something outside and you don't want to open the curtains let everybody know that you're in here, you can just have a look on the CCTV cameras and if there's something there you don't like, jump in the front, open the front blinds and drive off. It's good isn't it Louis? Hey? <laughs> it's good to be away but it's great to be back. When you live somewhere like this, it's not such a heartache to come home. I'm back to being a whippet bed. I'm tired. I'm tired, Louis, after your adventure. <laughs> oh, Rosie is. <laughs>